Allow the knees to drop towards the mat. Sitting in a comfortable cross leg position. Allow the pelvis to tilt forward. Allow the spine to lift, lengthening through the crown of your head. So imagine that there's a, there's a string coming out from the crown of your head, pulling up towards the ceiling. Roll the shoulders back and down, away from your ears. Rooting your fingers down to the floor. And with each inhale, see if you can create a little bit more length in your spine. And then see if you can feel or sense the expansions around your ribs, the front, the sides, and even the back. You're welcome to close your eyes here and take a few deep breaths. So with each inhalation, growing tall, expanding around the ribs, and with each exhalation, rooting down into your sit bone. So as you inhale, growing tall. As you exhale, soften the shoulders, soften your thighs. And bring your hands to prayer. Close the eyes. This hand in prayer is a gesture to remind ourselves to act from our sincerity, to act from our heart, to act from our love. So you're welcome to set an affirmation or an intention before we practice today. And may your intention be something like accepting ourselves as the way we are. I accept this body that I have been gifted with and I make healthy choices for the well-being of my body, my mind and my spirit. Take three more rounds of your deep breathing. Bring your intention inwards. And slowly open your eyes. Releasing your hands down, sitting up tall again. Inhale, looking over to your right. Exhale, draw your chin down, roll the neck. Inhale over to the other side, exhale chin down, inhale chin up. Keep going, moving with your breath, going as slow as you wish and just sensing your neck, the side of your neck, your shoulders. Notice if there are any tension. Keep going. And slowly bring your hip to center, lifting your gaze. Inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Really try to touch the ceiling with the fingertips. Feel the shoulder blades lift up towards your ears. As you exhale, draw the, elbow, the arms all the way back and down. Inhale, arms in front of you and up. Exhale, arms back and down. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, up. 
Notice the movement of your shoulder blades gliding up and down your spine. One more, inhale up. Exhale down. And let's reverse, turn the palms forward. Inhale, arms all the way back and up. Exhale, down the center. So we're reversing this movement. Arms back and up. Exhale, down the center. Two more. Inhale, back and up. And then exhale, down. Just notice the range of your shoulders today, the range of movement. Exhale, down. Lower your right hand down to the floor. Inhale, left arm up and over into a side bend. Soften the bottom elbow and then root down into your left sit bone, reaching over with your top hand. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, going to the other side. Side bending. So imagine there's a wall bar behind you and you're trying to keep the body on that wall. Inhale, come back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more set. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale, take both arms up. Reaching both arms up. Exhale, interlace your fingers at the back. So I'm just going to show you, as you interlace your fingers at the back, roll the shoulders back and draw your elbows in towards the center. And you should feel your sacrum with your hands. So the big piece of bone below your lower back, that's, called, that's your sacrum. So continue to draw the shoulders down and the elbows in. Still keeping your spine upright. Opening the front of your chest. Inhale. Exhale, now straighten your elbow. Lift your hand up and away from the body. Keeping the arms straight. Try not to poke your chest out too much. Gently draw the lower, lower ribs in towards your spine. Inhale, and exhale, release your hands, roll the shoulders back, and forward. Now straighten your legs in front of you. So keeping your legs straight, you just shake it out. Have your legs slightly wider than your hips. Bring your hands behind your hips and again encourage your spine to lengthen up to the ceiling. You'll still feel that slight tilt of your pubic bone down towards the floor. Spine straight. And we're just going to rotate your thighs in and out. So internal rotation of your thighs. External rotation. Internal rotation of the thighs. External rotation. In and out, in and out. Keep going, moving with your own, own pace and just using this time to really explore and observe. Is there any movement that feels more restricted than the other? Is there any Difference between your right hip and your left hip. So this is an approach that I like to use in my yoga practice to observe or actually start with the intention of or the, the attitude of curiosity and then observe, accept uh, the things as they are and then see how you can modify to adapt. Okay, we're going to do uh, one leg only. So start with just your right leg and roll the thigh in and out, keeping the other one still. 
in and out. So remember, every day our practices are different. It's different in the morning. And let's swap sides. So changing the other leg, keeping your right leg still, moving only your left thigh. So here again, you might be able to hone into your sensation and see which movement might feel restricted. So the way we approach yoga, this would be more, it will have, you will have a more joyful practice than having a, a goal oriented kind of practice. And that applies to our everyday mindset as well, how we think. Okay, let's roll the ankles. Draw big circles with your toes. And then drawing the circle the other way. Okay, come onto hands and knees on the floor. So remove your cushion. Have your wrists under your shoulders and your knees hip width apart. This is what we call a tabletop position. Your thighs are perpendicular to the floor. And you're going to inhale, lift your sternum up, lift your sit bone up towards the ceiling, tilting your sit bone up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, drawing the pubic bone up towards your head, push down into the floor, rounding your back. Inhale into your cow pose, lifting your sternum, lift your gaze, and lift your sit bone up. Drawing the shoulder blades back towards your hips. Exhale, rounding the back, push down into the floor. Inhale, noticing the contraction in the back area. Exhale, noticing the contraction in the front of your belly. Inhale, and just tune into the different segments of your spine. The lower back, Middle back, upper back. Keep going. Warming up our spine. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, back to neutral, tabletop position. Tucking the toes under, and then inhale, exhale, lift your knees off, and push back into downward facing dog. Notice that your feet are hip width or wider. You're welcome to paddle your feet, lower one heel at a time. Paddling the feet out. And again, noticing any sensations around the back of your legs. Relax your neck, looking down between your legs. Now start with both knees bent. Lift your sit bone up towards the ceiling a little bit more. So feel the tilt of your pelvis, pushing the mat away from you and allow the chest to come a little closer to your thighs. Inhale, look forward, step your feet forward. Bring your hands to your thighs or to your shin. And you're welcome to take a slight bend here, but work to straighten your spine. So extending the spine forward is instead of rounding the back. Try protruding the chest forward. Roll the shoulders back and pull it back towards your hips. Keep your gaze down on the floor. Inhale, straight back. Start to notice how the back muscles need to work to keep your spine in this position. And then exhale, fall forward. Relax your neck, relax your back. Your hands are on the floor. If it's not, keep your knees bent and then relax your neck, looking down between your legs. Bend your knees a little bit more. Sweep your arms back, straighten the spine, and then lift your arms up, straightening the leg. 
Reach up through the, the, the fingertips, up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, sweeping the arms back. Bend your knees here as you fall forward. Relax your neck. Inhale, slide your hands up along your shin. Come into your half lift position. Straight back. Maybe try straightening your knees here. Exhale, bend your knees, hands on the mat. Step back with your right leg. So in your uh, runner's lunge position, your legs are hip width apart. Lower your back knee down to the floor for now. Flatten the foot. Inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Lengthening the sides of the body. Draw the front knee back and your back knee forward. And then imagine that you're hugging a ball between your thighs. Inhale. Exhale, sweeping the arms back, hands down to the mat. Tuck your back toe under and step back into downward facing dog. So in this downward dog position, your hips up are high. And you're welcome to take a bend in your knees first. Work on lengthening your spine as you tilt your sit bones slightly up towards the ceiling. And then work to descend your heels, feeling your hamstring and your calves at the back, aiming the heels down to the floor. As you exhale, drawing the belly in. As you inhale, breathe into the sides of your belly and around your ribs. And inhale, look forward, step your feet forward. Bring your hands up to your legs and half lift. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, fall forward. Remember, you're welcome to bend your knees here if you need to. And relax your neck. Now bend your knees a little bit more, sweeping the arms back, straighten the spine and reach the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, arms back. Fall forward. Inhale, come into your half lift. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, bend your knees, hands on the mat. This time, take your left leg back. Your legs are hip width apart. And then lower your back knee down to the floor. Flatten the foot at the back. Inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Anjaneyasana. Again, draw that front knee back and pull the back knee forward. Hug your thighs into the center. And reaching up through your fingertips. Lengthen the sides. Inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Tuck your back toes under and step back to downward facing dog. You're welcome to paddle your feet in this down dog. And then stay with both legs straight. Take a slight tilt of your pubic bone up towards the ceiling. Lengthening your chest, your spine. Relax the neck. Descend your heel. Drawing the belly in as you exhale. Root down through the thumbs, the thumb side of your hands. Inhale. And then exhale, lower your knees down to the mat. Lower the whole body down to the floor. Hip and chest down at the same time. Flatten the foot. Inhale, lift up to baby cobra. So keeping your hands down, keeping your pu pubic bone down on the floor. Roll the shoulders back, hug your elbows in. Your neck is nice and long, reaching through the crown of your head forward. Reach your toes back. Inhale. Exhale, tucking the toes under. Push up to your tabletop position. 
and then up to downward facing dog. Inhale, step your feet forward. Come into your half lift. Legs are hip width apart, hands in front of your legs. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, fall forward. Relax your neck and your back. Let your back round. Bend your knees. Inhale, sweep the arms back. Reach up to the ceiling. And this time we're going to interlace your fingers. So interlacing the fingers. Turn the palms up to the ceiling and push the palms up. As you push up, feeling again the length on the sides of your body. Inhale. Exhale, right hand side bend. So go into a right hand side bend, root down into your left foot. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left hand side bend. Root down into your right foot. One more set. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, right hand side bend. Inhale up, exhale left side bend, inhale up and then release your hands, bend your knees here, see if you can touch your fingers to the floor. So if this position is too much strain for your knees, don't, don't, you don't need to squat down too much and just rest your hands on your thighs. Otherwise, try touching your fingers to the floor. Notice that your knees are in line with the second and third toe. Now, keeping the squat position, going up to chair pose, inhale, arms up to the ceiling. As you exhale, draw the belly in. As you inhale, breathe into the lower back and the upper back. As you exhale, drawing the belly in, gazing forward, five, four, three, two, one, and straighten your legs. Exhale, arms back and fall forward. Inhale, slide the hands up again on your legs, half lift. Exhale, bend your knees, hands on the mat. Step back into plank this time. So in your plank pose, your wrists are slightly ahead of your shoulders. Legs are hip width apart. Push down and push back through your heels. Tilt your pubic bone up towards your head. So instead of sagging and lifting your sit bone, arching the back, draw the belly in. Push down into the floor, inhale, exhale, lower your knees, and again, control landing, try to lower your hip and your chest down at the same time. Inhale, lifting up to baby cobra, exhale, tapping the toes, push up to your tabletop position, and then up to downward facing dog. Stay in your down dog position for three deep breaths. So again, work and explore the tilt of your pelvis. Explore the straightening of your legs. Explore the position of your heels. Notice how it feels to turn the heels out slightly. And inhale, look forward. Step your feet forward. Hands in front of your legs, half lift position. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep your arms back. Reach up to the ceiling. Preparing for our balance pose, tree pose. Bring your hands down to your chest. I'm going to turn towards you. And then 
Rikshasana. Having your feet grounded to the floor, lift your right leg up. Keep your toes down on the floor for now. And then I want you to just experiment with the turning of your thighs again. So external rotation in the thigh, internal rotation of the thigh. While keeping the other hip fixed, so continue to draw the hip in without moving the other hip. Rotating the thigh in and out. In and out. And then bring your knee out. So rotate your thigh outwards. Hug the hips in. Push down with the standing foot. You can try lift your foot up away from the floor. Resting the foot below your knee. If you have done this before and you want to progress, you're welcome to bring your foot all the way up to your inner thigh. So if your foot is on the inner thigh, press that thigh in and your foot against your thigh. Grow tall. So in this tree pose, we're thinking of drawing everything in towards the center and lifting the energy up while keeping your root connected down to the ground. Inhale, float your arms up to the ceiling. Stay here, focus on the spot in front of you. Keep breathing. Notice how it does to the state of your mind, the balancing poses. Inhale. Exhale, hands down to your chest and lower your foot down to the floor. Walk it out. Okay, we're going to try the other side. Feet hip width apart. And then lift your left foot up. Keep your toe on the floor. Again, hug your hips in towards the center. And start to rotate your thigh out and in. External rotation, internal rotation. External rotation, internal rotation. Try and keep the other hip still. So you notice that your standing foot, the thigh needs to firm up. The kneecaps will lift to stabilize your leg and your hip. And again, external rotation, stay there. Push down into the floor, grow tall. And then you're welcome to bring your foot up, away from the floor, below your knee. Hold here for a few breaths. And then if you want to continue, you're welcome to bring the foot all the way up to your inner thigh if this is accessible. Otherwise, just keep your foot below the knee. You're still practicing a balanced pose with the foot closer to the ground. Stay here for a few more deep breaths. You may notice that one side is stronger than the other. Or at all. Breathe. Inhale, float your arms up to the ceiling. Reach up to the ceiling. Gently draw the belly in toward your spine. As you inhale, direct the energy up, drawing everything into the center. As you exhale, root down through your standing foot. Connecting deep into the earth. Inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. And lower your foot down to the floor. Well done, walk it out. We're going into one more round of our uh, sun salutation. So standing on the front edge of your mat, feet hip width apart. Inhale, sweeping your arms back and up. Exhale, fall forward. Relax your neck. 
Inhale, come up to your half lift. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back into plank. Inhale. Exhale, hold here in your plank. Pushing down into the floor. Keep your collarbones nice and broad. Tilt your pubic bone up towards your head. Feeling your abdominals working. Inhale. Exhale, lower your knees down. Control landing. Hip and chest down to the floor. Inhale, lifting your chest. Baby cobra. Roll the shoulders back. Have your elbows in. Push down into the feet. Exhale, tucking the toes. Push up to your tabletop position and then up to downward facing dog. Stay here in your down dog. Breathe. As you exhale, draw the belly in. Our setup for Sutta Baddha Konasana is to have a bolster or a rolled blanket, something that is long enough to support your whole spine, including your head. Okay. So if you have a blanket that is short, you're always welcome to have an extended with a cushion or something. And then you will need another pillow on top of that bolster. And if you have two roll blankets, that would be great. That's also something that's nice to use. But for today, you can probably use it later on. For now, we are resting in Sittabhada Konasan. So have the soles of your feet together and just sit up tall. So bring your hands behind your hips. Allow and encourage the pubic bone to tilt down towards the floor. Lift your spine, lift your sternum up. Soften the top of your shoulders. You're welcome to flap your wings. In kids yoga, we call this the butterfly pose or your fairy pose, so flapping your wings, up and down. Encourage the hip flexors to soften and relax as you flap your wings. And then you can stop there. Support your thighs or your knees with something. So I have blocks, so I'm putting blocks underneath my thighs. If you have cushions, you can use cushions to support your thighs. And then what's nice is to have an eye pillow or a face towel, something to close 
and cover your eyes with so that you can block out stimulation from outside. And then just make sure that you have a blanket or jacket to keep you warm while we are in these restorative poses because you will cool down. Recline down to your bolster. First onto your elbow. Use your hand and push it under your buttock. Push the flesh out towards your heel. So push the flesh out towards your heel, flattening your lower back slightly, and then lower your spine down to your support. Make sure your neck is nicely uh, supported. And then here you're welcome to use something to block uh, something to place on top of your eyes and then relax your arms down the side. You're welcome to play with the angle of your arm. Maybe taking it up slightly more, maybe taking it down slightly more. I find more like a 45 degree angle is optimal but everyone's bone structures are different. So just find your optimal angle of the arm so that you can relax your shoulders fully, your neck fully, and stay here. Scan through your body. Taking deep breath. Inhaling to the count of four. Exhaling to the count of four. While you're breathing, notice if there are any tensions that creep up on your neck or your shoulders or your jaw. And try and find the rhythm and the pace that feels the easiest for you. There's no strain on your lungs. And while you're taking your deep breath, tune into the sensation of your breath. Notice the air going in and out of your nostrils. Notice how your belly gently rises and your chest Expands as you inhale and notice the feeling of relaxation and relief as you exhale. Stay in this conscious deep breathing. Keep coming back to the sensations of your breath. See where can, you can feel a little bit more expansion, these micro expansions inside the body. Perhaps around the hip crease, creating a little bit more space. Perhaps around the front and the sides and even the back 
of your belly. And even up to the shoulder. See if you can create a little bit more space as you inhale. And as you exhale, just allow the shoulders to drop towards the mat. Opening the front of your chest gently. Staying with the sensation of your breath. Start to notice a pause, a slight pause in between your breath. At the end of your inhalation and at the end of your exhalation. Take one more round of your deep breathing. And slowly bring your knees up to center. Have your feet apart and your knees into touch. The so feet apart, knees touch. Stay here. Sway your knees from side to side. Make a gentle movement around your hips, around your lower back. Swaying the knees slowly. And then you can roll over to your side of choice. So whichever you want to come up in, have your top hand press down into the floor, lift your spine up. So that's a gentler way of lifting your spine, um, like when you get up in the morning. So you always use the top hand to support your spine to come up. All right, we're going to do alternate nostril breathing. So sitting up tall, having your legs crossed or straight. And you're welcome to keep your spine supported by something, maybe by a sofa, or if you just want to sit up tall, that's fine. And then make sure again you're sitting up on a cushion so that your hips are slightly elevated, softening the thighs, softening the shoulders. With our alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhana, we're going to use, have your left hand in Gya Mudra. So gently press the tip of your thumb and your index finger to touch. And then with the other three fingers, you don't need to extend it so forcefully, but neither do you keep it too soft and relaxed. Okay, so just bring a slight awareness of how it's Straighten, but without force, okay? So just awakening the mind. So keeping your nervous system not too tense, nor um, going back to sleep, okay? So keeping your hand in Dhyam Mudra and your right hand, the first two fingers, place it between your eyebrows. And you'll notice that your thumbs, you can rest your thumb on your right nostril and your left, uh, your ring finger on your left nostril. So see if you can keep your spine upright in this position without causing any strain on your shoulders and on your neck. Stay here with your hand in front of you for just a few more rounds of the deep breathing.
keeping no tension around your shoulders. Now with not alternate nostril breathing, we're going to alternate the closure of your nostrils, okay? So take a deep inhalation. Close your right nostril, exhale left. Inhale through your left. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale. Close. Exhale left. Inhale through your left. Close, exhale right. Inhale. Close, exhale left. Inhale, close, exhale, right. Inhale, close, exhale, left. Inhale, close, exhale, right. Inhale, close, exhale, left. And then rest your hand on your knees or your thighs, keeping your eyes closed and hold your right hand in Gya Mudra as well. Stay here just for a few minutes, keeping the eyes closed. You can roll your, your tongue to touch the top palate. And just become aware of any activity in your mind. Observing mental activity, acknowledging, accepting with kindness, and make space for it. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to prayer. And let's just take this moment to thank our body. And remind ourselves of the intention that we set in the beginning of our practice. I accept and love 
the body that I have been gifted with. And I make healthy choices, enlightened choices to bring health to my body, my mind, and my spirit. And taking a gentle bow, paying gratitude to the heaven, the environment around us, the animals, the birds, sunshine, thanking the earth for nourishing us, the people in our life, our family and friends, people who have supported us along the way, physically, emotionally, financially, and thank ourselves for putting in the effort and the time to look after the health of our body and mind. Taking a gentle bow in recognition of your own practice. Slowly open your eyes. Namaste. So I hope you have enjoyed that practice this morning. And we're going to use this, the rest of our time for some catching up and networking. So just maybe type in the chat box if you don't want to put on your audio. You're welcome to do please turn on your audio and speak. It's nice to hear human voices. <laughs> but if you don't, if you're not comfortable with that, you can always put in the chat box. How are you feeling right now? And, um, and also, if you have any services or products that you would like to talk about um, later on, please also do put it in the chat box. Your, uh, the way people can contact you.